Hello and welcome to Pristine Tech School channel. I am very excited to explain the concepts of operators in C. C programming has a various operators to perform tasks including arithmetic, conditional, bitwise operations. You will learn about various C operators and how to use them in this tutorial. An operator is a symbol which operates on a value or a variable. For example, plus is an operator perform addition. C programming has a wide range of operators to perform various operations. For better understanding of operators, these operators are, can be classified as arithmetic operators, then increment, decrement operators, assignment operators, further relation operators, logical operators, conditional operators, and bitwise special operators. So uh, today we're going to understand uh, two operators, arithmetic operators and increment decrement operators. Arithmetic operators perform mathematical operators uh, such as additional, subtraction, multiplication on numerical values, constant and variables. So uh, these operators can be like uh, plus minus modulus and divide. So let's start with the example only of arithmetic operators like I am taking one variable a and uh, assigning some value like 10 and another variable b like 100 and then I am taking some float values c equals to 10.5 and t equals to 100.5 so let's create a variable for addition that is add in which I'm adding two variables a and b and then for subtraction similarly in which I'm subtracting a and b and then for multiplication we are having this variable mul in which I'm multiply these variables a and b and then we are having divide so it, I will we take divide in float because it's giving me the result in rational numbers so c divided by d and then we are having the mod a modulus of p so now let's print the results so first is for addition Let's add, must put the slash in to have the clear output, that is for next line and then we are having subtraction, again percentage D control string, we are having the variable SUB for subtraction and then we are having multiplication. percentage d only then slash in multiplication after that we have division so for this I'm going to use control string f because it's in floating values and floating numbers so we are having div for division and last one is for modulus it would be also in uh, integer then mod so let's compile and run it and have our output so successfully compiled okay we are having the output I had take two numbers a and b a is 10 and b is 100 so for addition it's having the result 110 similar as the subtraction multiplication division and modulus so in this program operator plus minus and multiply computes addition subtraction and multiplication respectively as you might have expected the modulo operator computes the remainder when a is like uh, a is 10 and b is 100 and remainder is uh, you can see that 10 so the modulus operator can only be used with integers only not with the floating numbers okay guys 
So I have another video uploaded which explain this concept further better with other types of operators in video part 2. So this is video part 1 in which I am covering increment, decrement and arithmetic operators only. So you can find that video on channel so please subscribe and don't miss even a single tutorial because operators are really interesting concept in C programming language. So now moving further with the increment and decrement operators. So C programming has two operators increment and decrement to change the value of an operand constant or variable by one. Increment plus plus increases the value by one whereas decrement minus minus decreases the value by one. So these two operators are unary operators meaning they only operate on a single operand. So let's start with that. So for increment decrement we are going to have our output in statements only in printf we doesn't need any other variable to create like I'm simple creating printf statement in which if I incrementing a and then then at the last apply new line to have our output clear okay so let quickly check the coding okay fine so now let's compile it and run it okay fine we are having the output so in this we can uh, see that I am doing the increment of variable a we are having the value of a that is 10 you can see that a is 10 so here I am doing postfix in which it going to give me the result first like 10 and after that it going to increment the value of 10 so similarly this is postfix in which it's displaying the value first that is 10 not incremented if you going to again print this a then it will be incremented by the 1 and in case of b there is a value of 100 b and in this case of b i am doing the prefix in which it going to display the number later on but it will decrement the number first so 100 is decremented by 99 and then it displaying the result 99 so similar with the case of plus plus c that is pre prefix and then d minus minus that d decrement that is postfix so here operator plus plus minus minus are used as prefix and postfix. I hope this video will be helpful for you. If you like this video, don't forget to like, share and subscribe this channel. Have a good day ahead. Thank you.